right, every year around about December, just before Christmas, the Saltwater Pro Anglers and a few of the staff take a road trip down to the Eastern Cape. The whole idea of the trip is to promote our products, but as much as promoting the products, we also want to have fun. So we do a lot of fishing, we fish new spots, meet new people, and all in all, just a very nice, enjoyable trip. Our first stop was at Port Alfred. Every year there's a nice little edible fishing competition in Port Alfred, hosted by some of the local fishing clubs. And Dexter Grucock, our product development manager from Joburg, joined us, as well as Siam Pretorius, one of our up and coming young ambassadors from Durban. And the whole idea was for us to go do a bit of edible fishing and target different edible species in the Eastern Cape waters. With it being an edible competition, obviously we we're going to target edible fish as far as possible. And there's a lot of reef area in that Port Alfred. So generally you're fishing the reefs, um, depending on the type of species you're targeting. We were starting off the morning looking for bronze bream. And that's normally on flat ledges where the water works a lot. There's a lot of white rolling water. And then your deeper water, you could find anything from a nice cob to a mussel cracker, any of those bigger species of fish. Well, we've just pulled up uh, up to our spot now, and the water was looking quite nice for for uh, some little bronze bream. Uh, put my bait out, not even five minutes, and and on. So yeah, let's get the little guy in and see what see what see what size he is. Nice little, uh, little bronze bream. These guys are really good fun to catch on the, on the light tackle, so really enjoying the light setup. And uh, yeah, let's get him back in the water and see if we can get a bigger one. The trace we used there in Port Alfred for edible fish was a very simple double hook trace. My top hook was a small number one or one o hook, little owner -oh hook. And then we've got this nice bright piece of flotation. It's got two purposes. The one purpose is obviously the bright color will attract the fish and the next purpose is to lift the bait off the rocks and get your bait to float in the zone where those fish feed, about a meter off the, off the rocks. The thickness of the trace line is a 0.6. You can go a little bit light if you want to, but we went with a thicker 0.6 due to the rocks there and you can get cut off quite easily. Then we've got about a meter between the two hooks, our bottom hook. I didn't put a piece of flotation on certain traces with a bit of a bigger hook, for a size hook, and the purpose of that was to target the bigger fish that were around. Russia here. While we're fishing for bronze bream, I threw a bit further and put it in the reef and got lucky and got him out. I was throwing a choca blob bait and yeah, as you can see, the owner size one jay right in the corner of the mouth. Just 
going to put a body tag in him and get him back in his way. As the day progressed, the tyres started pushing and the bronze ring started going off the bite. It's quite normal for them when the water fills up to go off the bite. We noticed a few spots where there was nice deep white water rolling over the reefs. And I decided to, to use my old faithful number one cob bait, scale up a bit. You've got to work the area, look at the formation, when things change, change your tactics a bit and you can always be successful. Ooh. That feels like a nice fish, nice heat nods. So let's see what this is. We're having a nice little session here. Early on, we got a lot of bronze beam on the light stuff. And now we've scaled up a bit and we decided to go bigger bait to the pushing guide. And we're looking for better size cracker, cob, maybe a punzi or two. So let's see what we got on here. Tussle, get the fish through the roof. Here it comes. Here we go. One of our target species. Nice little two and a half secular cobby. And this anaconda elf just worked this fish so well. I love this rod. I really, really love this rod. Well, let's put this beauty back in the water. Grow nice and big and fat. Okay. The day started off being very nice, good condition. So early morning we had quite a lot of fish, but during midday a strong wind came through and it made fishing very, very difficult. So the guys had stuck it out and really fished through that difficult condition, managed to get a few more fish, and they walked away with some of the better prizes. Prize giving was a very nice affair. We had lots of prizes we brought along. We bought prizes for the kids, for the ladies, for the senior men. So every person got a fish, basically walked away with a whole bunch of prizes. And we really enjoyed the afternoon, just spending time with fellow fishermen, talking fishing, doing what we love, and it was just a nice event where everybody sat down and really enjoyed the company of each other and us handing out some lovely prizes. Although we had an awesome time in Port Alfred, we couldn't stick around too long. We had a phone call from Gerard Geese telling us that the fish are biting in Jeffreys Bay, our next destination. So, but Alfred set the tone and we were ready to head out off to Jeffreys Bay. <laughs>